Hey, how you doing guys? I uh, got something new to play with today. Not actually new to me. The gun is uh, made in 1942, so it's not new and I've had it for six long years. But the, the ammunition is new. I haven't fired this thing yet in the six years I got it. But uh, got a few rounds, 10 rounds uh, loaned to me from a fine gentleman on Canadian gun nuts. And uh, looking forward to lighting this thing up. Okay, what we have here is a target, not my son, of course. What we have here is uh, behind the wood, we have a piece of two inch mild steel plate. That's real steel, that's not aluminum or tin or anything like that. That's real steel, mild steel, it's not armor plate, but it is uh, construction grade steel. We put a piece of wood in front of it, plywood, as a splash guard, in case stuff comes flying back, we don't want debris flying towards the shooting position. So we have that as our first primary target. And over here, we have a water jug. Not just any water jug, we have a 45 gallon water jug, completely full of water. Because the ammunition we're using is using lathe turn solid brass projectiles, they're effectively like a full metal jacket. They would just normally slide right through any water jug. So we put this steel plate on there to try and increase the energy transfer. No point in shooting at it with 24,000 foot pounds of energy if nothing uh, gets transferred to the water jug. It all comes out the back side. So we're hoping for good things here. Gas fire, DPRD. Okay, so the gun held together. One thing I did notice is that it did not eject. Although this is the bolt action, it's supposed to be automatic eject. The whole system that slides up here, this bolt cams up here, cams up, and out comes the shell. That's the way it's supposed to work. It didn't work. That makes me think these are somewhat lighter than original factory standard loads. Okay, test on the steel plate. Knock my earmuffs off. Shoulder still attached, that's a good sign. Hit the plate, that's a good sign. Once again, it did not auto eject the way it's supposed to, so it makes me think there's light loads. What we're going to do is we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to change speed here. I made up some blank rounds. In a machinist course, I turned uh, an exact copy of the case dimensions on the outside. On the inside, it has room for a 24 gauge shotgun shell to go in there. I've cut the length of the shotgun shell down a bit, but it is 24 gauge. It goes in here like that. We now have a shotgun shell mounted in there. They're blanks, so they're loaded with uh, standard 209 shotgun primer and uh, double F, 2F, like FFG type of black powder. Shotgun shell in, adapter in. Chamber is hot. Earmuffs on.
Well, that was pretty uninspiring. That wasn't very loud at all. That was a starting load, 50 grains, 50 grains of FFT powder. We're going to step it up a little bit with 65 grains of FFG powder. That was a bit better. That made a nice, satisfying thump. Still zero recoil. Absolutely no recoil at all. Mark, you want the final one? Sure. Okay, my son Mark is going to take the uh, final one, 90 grains. Okay, this is the third and final blank round test round. It is 90 grains of GoX black powder FFG grade. Do your thing, Mark. Have at her. Okay, so you're not going to get really down with it. You're just going to... Okay, okay, go. That worked quite nicely. More, more of a snap than a boom, but that's okay. Gives a chance to make some noise with the old beast.